All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we're going to talk about Roger Goodell and a couple things he had to say on an 18-game schedule, potentially. Now, that's probably, or, well, actually, no. That An 18-game schedule is already in play. What I meant to say was them subtracting a uh, preseason game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get into that now. So, um, well, 18 weeks and then you got the 17 games cause you got the bye week. That's what I meant to say. I confused myself a little bit there, but anyways, I know cause I'm like, wait, but they have 18 games. Well, 18 weeks, not 18 games, but yeah, so this is what he said. I think we're good at 17 right now. But listen, we're looking at how we can continue it. I'm not a fan of the preseason. The reality is I'd rather replace a preseason game with a regular season game any day. That's just picking quality. I mean, I think everybody's in agreement with that. He said, if we get to 18 and 2, that's not an unreasonable thing. The other thing is it does... uh, uh, the other thing it does, Super Bowl Sunday ends up on President's Day weekend, which is a three-day weekend, which makes it Sunday night, and then you have Monday off. And, I mean, this is something that people have been talking about for years. You know, why can't, you know, people have off the next day after the Super Bowl just because of the event that it is? But we could be living in a reality where that is the case, and people have off the next day. Now, this if this this does get put into effect and there is another added game onto the schedule that's great um i mean back when i was you know you know in elementary school and you know middle school high school like if if this happened back then that would be great but see the sad reality for some people including myself is well probably still going to be working the next day so it really is not going to matter to me be great for my parents You know, my aunts, my uncles, my grandparents, be great for them. But, you know, for me and other and many others, uh, it's it's not going to matter. You're still going to be working the next day. So, but this would be a great thing for a lot of people. I mean, my mom in years past has taken off, you know, the day after the Super Bowl, especially like when the. You know, I don't think she went into work the next day when the Giants won. So, I mean, yeah, this would be a great thing. Again, but you, for the players, I don't know how crazy the players feel about this. You know, because, again, with especially this year, you got games on Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, it, Tuesday, again, the only day that doesn't have football. All you think about is injuries and how this game can be brutal at times. And the wear and tear on the players. Guys are playing hurt the whole year. Some guys. That That's the one thing that you look at and you say, yeah, it's just... Is it is it a good idea? In, in, that, in, in that aspect. But then the NFL, they'll come out with their studies and say, oh, well, this, by doing this, this has no effect on, you know, injuries or, you know, but... But this is also what he said. This is about, you know, the game internationally. So he also said, I honestly think we'll be playing 16 games internationally if you go 10 years out. I think we'll try to get to 8 or 9 in the next couple years, he said. So that's another interesting thing, too, that I wanted to talk about. But the thing is with that is, like, as it's great that they're expanding the game and having games being played in other countries. But the other thing, too, is teams are losing home games because of that. You know, like the Eagles, they're going to be opening up in Brazil. That's an Eagles home game. They lose a home game. You know, when teams are going to London and Germany, those are home you're, you One of the teams, it's a home game for them, but the, so they're losing a home game there. That's, a, that's, the other, that's the other issue when it comes to that. But, I mean, the NFL is going to continue to do that, and again, I think it is great, but again, it doesn't come without its... It's negatives. And that is a negative where a team is, you know, you're going to go play in another country, but you're going to lose a home game because of it. So, but, yeah, I mean, listen, I 
I'm I'm for the you know extra game for there to be you know you have off the next day move it to President's Day weekend and then everybody has off the next day or m mostly everybody has off the next day I think that'd be I think that's great and I mean I, listen a lot of people are with Roger Goodell nobody's really a fan of the preseason I know I'm not I mean, I'll watch it because, you know, for my team and, 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 you know, when the starters play like the first drive or two, yeah, you want to watch it, see, you know, how they're progressing. You know, see the dress, the dress rehearsal game before they, you know, play the real thing. You know, I know for the Giants last year, you know, the first game of the regular season, yikes, 40 to nothing. Didn't watch a single second of it, like I said. So, you know, I got this. Well, I think I watched the dress rehearsal, whatever, you know, game it was that they had their starters play. But, uh, yeah, for the the, re the regular season opener, yeah, I, I, was, uh, I was not watching that game. And thankfully I didn't because, again, it was 40 to nothing. But, yeah, with preseason, it's just, you know, I – nobody really likes to watch. Well, I mean, people watch it. People – and people gamble on it, which I – I don't understand, but that that's, that's again, who am I to say that? But, it, yeah, I mean, it's get, it's listen, it's getting shorter and shorter. Because it used to be four games, now it's three. Before you know it, it's going to end up being two. And, and then who knows, they might just do away with it entirely. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's guys trying to make the team. Guys trying to make an impression. And as selfish as it is, a lot of football fans don't really care for that. You know, they just want to get to the, reg the regular season. But for a lot of these guys, you know, they're trying to make the team. But for most football fans, they're like, well, we want to get to week one. We want to see... Our team play meaningful games. You know, we don't really care for watching, you know, these backup quarterbacks and these receivers that are trying to make the team. Although, listen, till this day, I'll stand by it. My mom and I knew that Victor Cruz was going to be good because we watched the preseason game against the Jets all those years ago when he had an amazing game. I forget what how many. He had a touchdown in the game. But he he had a, he had a great game, and we said this guy's going to be good. And then, you know, didn't hear from, didn't hear about him for a year. And then, you know, he had that great season in 2011. The Giants won the Super Bowl. We knew, we knew. So we should be scouts. No. But yeah, no, that's. But we but that was us watching a preseason game, and we were like, hey, this this Victor Cruz guy is pretty good, and he turned out to be pretty good. Now, unfortunately, his career, his career got cut short, and you know it hasn't played. You know, I, I don't, did he officially retire? Or like, on, well, I mean, now he's on TV, and, and you know he does a great job with that. But I I don't remember. Did he like officially announce his retirement? He probably did. It's just it was a while ago. But yeah, I mean, he didn't he didn't play in an NFL game after you know twenty sixteen. You know, played with the Bears. Uh, in, in the preseason in 2017, but yeah, didn't make the team. But yeah, it's just Victor Cruz was an exciting player to watch, and uh, it just was unfortunate that his career got cut short. But, but yeah, again, that's that was us watching the preseason. We're like, hey, this guy could be good. But again, not really a fan of preseason myself either, just because. I mean, again, it's football. If it's on, I'll watch it. But I mean, it's during the summer, so. You know, I'm focusing on, you know, the team behind me, the Yankees. So I'm not really interested in watching the preseason. Again, unless it's your team, like your your offense is playing like the first couple of drives. Yeah, like you'll watch it, see how they do. But other than that, yeah, not really trying to watch it. So, but again, that's just me. So that's where it seems like we're going is, I mean, right now, Goodell says we're good, but there is a future where it could be an 18-game season, uh, not an 18-week season. That's why I got all confused. But an 18-game season 
and that pushes the Super Bowl to President's Day weekend. Which, again, if I was still in school, I would be so excited about this. But I'm not anymore. So <laughs> most likely going to be working the next day regardless. Now, again, is that the worst thing in the world? No. It's fine. But, again, it, it really, really does hurt when you're like, man, if this would have just happened when I was still in school, could have enjoyed it. And I still very well can at some point in my life, but whenever this is, comes into effect. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't not – not in the immediate future. Not in the immediate future. So, But let me know what you guys think about this uh, potential 18-game season that the NFL can move towards where it does now again not 18 week because that's already a thing but 18 game uh where you know that moves the Super Bowl to President's Day weekend how do we feel about that because again I, I I'm for that I know the there's going to be players that aren't going to be happy about it which I understand and I and I want to you know side with their perspective too because again I mean that's just that's an extra game means more injuries you know so that's that that's the uh that's a, ne a big negative you know is that so but we'll see if the nfl uh does it i mean if, if goodell's already putting it out there in the universe it's probably gonna end up happening at some point so but yeah, so that is uh, that's pretty much it for the show for today. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, nothing really. Uh, I ca I kept check checking the uh, the YouTube channels during the break. Show still going, so we we didn't have any internet problems today, which is nice. Uh, I, I I was just hoping that that's all I was thinking about over the weekend was oh I really hope this doesn't happen again. I hope this is just one of those days where the internet just was not good to me. But. It, it was good we we didn't have any we didn't have any issues so hopefully that continues and i gotta once i wrap up here i gotta try to figure out why my google chrome decided to log me out so i gotta try to get back into that you know because i have all my bookmarks you know for you know my the, both youtube channels where i have my note my show notes you know I, I need to get back into that so i can i mean i'm still gonna be able to access it one way or another but just annoying that that decided to happen right before i got on because I was already like nervous as it was with I hope the internet's good, but then I now I have this with you know Google signing me out of my account and I can't get back in because of my password. So I'll have to figure it out and hopefully that's it'll it'll get situated. So, but again, just another problem that I was dealing with before getting onto the show and I'm scrambling to you know get all the you know the show segments titled and and all that, but. Again, it is what it is. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. Uh, again, make sure to check out all the other shows as well. Uh, get their perspectives on other, on things uh, regarding the draft, as well as you know other things going on. The NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs, baseball, still going strong. Yankees had a great weekend. Thirty runs in two days. Yeah, so maybe that'll uh, that'll silence the uh, the doubters a little bit. Because, and, and, and believe me, I, I was frustrated too with some of the games that they, they lost over the last week. But I got to keep reminding myself, and this goes for everybody with, with your teams. Now, baseball is different because it's 162 games. You know, with football, if you lose a week, like, the, you know, that could definitely come back to bite you towards the end of the year. Because it's, again, only a 17-game season. But you just got to remind yourself, like, okay... Just take it one game at a time. It's one game. It's a long season. This is, again, this is with baseball. Let's see where they are towards the end of the year. So, patience. And listen, I, I'm not good when it comes to being patient. I'm very impatient. But when it comes to that, got to be patient. So, and again, 30 runs in two days, uh, that's, that's not bad. So, uh, yeah. Again, make sure to check out the other shows, like I said. And, uh, yeah, so that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. And until then, I'm your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. 
Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.